We want to understand why cancers come back. After surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy, why do tumors return? We study tumor-initiating cells, also known as cancer stem cells, cells that are highly resistant to therapy. We believe that these cells provide a key to understanding why cancers recur. We take genome-wide approaches, using information about all of the genetic abnormalities across patient tumors. We also use information about how genes are regulated, that is, epigenetically, how are they turned on, off, and fine-tuned. And then we look for vulnerabilities. Every mutation comes at a cost to the cell, and we want to exploit those Achilles heels to our advantage. We interrogate every gene, and we ask, if we disrupt this gene, can we force the cell out of the cancer stem cell state? What are the drivers of tumor-initiating cells? And then we dig deeper, trying to understand the fundamental mechanisms by which these genes do what they do. We're also interested in understanding how patients affect the tumors themselves. What is it about the environment in which the tumor grows that allows some patients to be long-term survivors while others with the same tumor succumb immediately? We want to develop therapies that make the tumor microenvironment as inhospitable as possible. We want to make discoveries that lead to new therapies and new ways to think about cancer. So far, we've been studying aggressive brain tumors to understand cancer stem cells and their vulnerabilities. We believe that what we find will be applicable beyond just adult and childhood brain tumors, but applicable to cancer in general.